All right, what's up you guys? Um, today I am replacing these side vents for single vents. Well, they have the single vent instead of having this pillar in the middle. Um, I'm replacing that. I've had these for a few months underneath my bed. Um, I just decided to throw them on today. I had nothing else to do. And um, they just, uh, they were getting scratched and stuff underneath my bed, so um, dusty and so. Right now I just finished uh, sanding them down. They are, they did come primered white. Um, so I started sanding them down and right now I'm gonna plastic dip them white, seeing as how I have a lot of white shit in my car, all on my car. So um, I'm gonna get that started and then uh, I'm gonna see how I mount them because I will flip them but I won't touch them. But on the other side, on the bottom here, there is two mounts. There's supposed to be screws coming out and it just doesn't have it. So I, I'm gonna take those off. Hopefully those have this, the screws, those like pressured screws so that I can just take them off. Drill holes in that, put those in there and then make that work. So I'm gonna start taking that apart and plastic dipping those. Um, I'm gonna fast forward everything and then I'll be back. All right, you guys, update time. Um, I'm on the third coat on these with the Plasti Dip. They're looking pretty good. Um, then on this side, make it down here. I took that little molding off and this vent, which wasn't too hard. Just I couldn't figure these two out. So there's screw there. There's a screw there. Well, there's a bolt behind here. So there's a bolt. There's a screw. There's a bolt that you have to go in through the um, through the inside to get. Then there is a clip here and a bolt here that you go in through the back through the wheel here. And um, so it wasn't too hard. And. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm talking about on the other side once I do take that, that side off. Um, I'm concentrating on this side right now because there's this boot here that um, I guess was painted before so I sanded this boot down and I started a black plastic dip on that and um, I'm just waiting for it to dry so I could do a few coats and then um, I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the other side. I'm really liking the way it's turning out with the plastic dip on the plastic. I've never done plastic dip on like boots or like molding type material. Cause it's, it's like the stuff that comes on your, um, on the window, the seals. It's kind of like that material. So it's it's surprising to see that it's, it's looking really good. It actually looks better than the plastic dip that is going on like panels and that I've done on other stuff. Um, it looks really shiny for some reason and I like it. I wish it would look like that on all the other stuff that I've done black plastic dip on. So um, right now I'm gonna skip over to the other side and uh, record that and kind of do like step by step how to take the molding off. Um, Cause it was a little, a little difficult figuring it out. There's a the molding. Um, back here there's two clips. I thought it was um, bolts. So it's kind of, it is kind of confusing. It, it is pretty hard to take them off and then this one you need a big extension to get this one out um, but other than that it was it was pretty easy just figuring it, figuring it out was kind of weird so um, I'm gonna skip on to this side like I said and I'll show you guys in a little bit all right so now I'm on the right side of the car I took this bolt off here here it is right there bam took that one off and then I went on the inside and I didn't show that because um, you just take off this panel which is all clips just take that off I don't have all of them I only have two oh I only have two wow um, so that came off pretty easy and then I had to move my sub which is a pretty big box so I couldn't record and take the sub out so um, I got that one out, the one that goes on this corner here, and this one. Now all I have to do is get this one off, which is, I believe, the clip. 
or the screw here oh my bad the screws here and the clip goes here so I'm gonna get that off right now show you guys how to do that and then we'll go on to how to get these oh well probably just get those off right now so there you go there's one whoa so i mean if i had both hands that would have been a cleaner removal so um that's how you get this thing off it's only clips so don't be scared that um it's gonna break just make sure that you try and put them put the screwdriver or whatever you're using um to pry it off underneath the clip instead of doing it too far like down here or over here because I'm pretty sure this could break or I don't know mess up your paint or whatever not that I'm worried about mine because my paints messed up all over the place so um, then after that like I said this and that clip so let me mount the camera up uh, give me a sec and I'll continue doing that because for that I do need two hands asking me to do stuff for them um it kind of sucks because i can't ever work on my car and record because they're always down here yeah we see me down here like hey i need something for my car oh uh, fuck so sorry about that i'm gonna try and get this off and i'll show you guys Alright, so just got that off and um, that's the clip that the other one doesn't have. Um, the other one's broken and then the screw, the mount that needs to be mounted onto the new ones and that's, it's not that hard to get it off. Um, just hard finding the bolts because everything's hidden on this thing. So. Now that that's off, I'm gonna classic dip like I did on the other side of this boot and then uh, clean this up a little bit because there's a bunch of water stains and um, mount up the these mounts onto the new ones and then uh, put those on and I'll give you guys a kind of like a before and after type thing uh, which isn't going to be much of a difference other than the white and that metal um, pillar being gone but I mean like I said in my previous video everything that I do to my car or any little thing you could do to an MR2 I feel like it makes that much more of a difference like uh, my other friends have two white ones and they both like that um, I think it's a 98 wing that spoiler and um, with the extensions and all that stuff so I did that for one of my friends and his car just looked plain, it looked kind of boring and once he put that spoiler on there, 
it just makes it look that much better and same with me going from the 91 spoiler to the 93 uh, makes it look that much better and I feel like the single vents I've been I've always been a fan of those single vent um, what are they panels so um, yeah I'm gonna give you guys a before and after all right so everything's done on both sides there is the new panel single vent it's really nice I did break one of the um, I drilled through one of them and then I broke the other one on one of the, on the right side um, while I was drilling and uh, I drill all the way through right there which you can barely see I'll probably just plastic dip that again right now to cover it up and then later on I'll go over it with some resin so that it seals that and then uh, on this side I think I, I broke it once I was like making the thread but it stuck so eh, it's fine for now until I get it off next time and um, everything lined up good I just feel like the right side lined up a lot better because of that clip that it does have on this side and it doesn't have it on the other one um, I don't know where to find that clip I'll probably go to AutoZone and see if they have it it kind of looks like a little joystick so I'll try and find that later but for now I guess that's it for today and then um, like I said I'm going to be uploading every Tuesday if you guys saw my Instagram I'm going to be uploading every Tuesday from now on because I've been liking it for a while and now um, I, have a, I have more things to do to the car so right now I'm just gonna go upstairs and get ready for work for tomorrow so thanks for watching and uh, like comment subscribe and leave any feedback or any questions that you guys have down in the comments or anything um, thanks for watching peace